Recently, I received a glossy leaflet through my door. In fact, every tenant in the building received one. It exhorted us to celebrate Black History Month. It was printed and published by Gateway Housing Association, who act as the landlords of our premises. So, this is how they spend the funds accrued from our rent. Among the events listed were a drumming workshop and a clay mask workshop. This proves the creators of this odious little rag are white middle class loony lefties. In their opinion then, the whole of Negro culture can be relegated to banging drums and making clay masks. What a hideous insult to coloured people everywhere. I made an official complaint about these posters. You see, they constitute a particularly invidious form of racism because they insult Negroes and Caucasians jointly. Do they ever exhort us to celebrate White History Month? Nine. Me mouse. More importantly, their interpretation of black history is profoundly patronizing and offensive. What about, for example, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Maggie Pocock, CLR James, Lucy Parsons, James Baldwin, Samuel Taylor Coleridge, and Stuart Hall? Tyson is a black American astronomer who popularizes physics and astronomy in lectures and on television. Miss Pocock is a black British woman who serves as one of the main presenters of the Sky at Night on television. James was a prominent black author from the West Indies whose book Beyond the Boundary presents a searing indictment in magnificent prose of British colonial rule. Miss Parsons, a black American writer, wrote the first book in English to propagate the notion of class war. And her literature inspired Rosa Parks to embark on her famous Montgomery bus protest in the 1950s. James Baldwin, another black American forced to flee and live in exile in France, is one of the top five American writers of the 20th century. Taylor Coleridge was a superb black British composer active in the early years of the 20th century, whose compositions were praised by composer Edward Elgar and conductors Henry Wood and Malcolm Sargent. Stuart Hall, a black British academic, was the chairman of the Open University for three decades. That's what I call black history. In conclusion, I prefer the words of Stokely Carmichael of the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense. He said, There's no in-between. You're either free or you're a slave. There's no such thing as second-class citizenship. That's like telling me you can be a little bit pregnant. Mr. Carmichael was always pithy.